Hey, welcome back. If you want to increase the chances to rank high in the search engines, it's necessary to do SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. In this tutorial, I will show you exactly how you can optimize pages and posts for your WordPress website with the Yoast SEO plugin and with the Elementor page builder plugin. So first you have to make sure to have the Yoast SEO plugin installed and activated. And you can do this very easily from the WordPress dashboard over at the plugins options. As you can see, I already have the plugin installed and activated, but if that's not the case, you can add it by selecting the add new option. After the page is loaded, you can use the search bar and search for Yoast. And then you will see this plugin over here. The only thing you need to do is click on install and after that on activate. So once that's done, you will now be able to use the plugin to optimize your pages and posts for the search engines. The next thing to do is to select the page or the post that you want to optimize. And for this example, I will use this post, but for pages, it works exactly the same way. And before I continue, I want to mention that the best thing to do is try to optimize a unique keyword for every single post or page. Based on keyword research, you can make a list of keywords with the most potential, as I have also showed you in a previous tutorial. So try not to optimize multiple pages or multiple posts for exactly the same keyword, because then it could be more difficult for search engines to determine which page or which post is the most relevant for that specific keyword. This is also known as keyword cannibalization, so always optimize a page or a post for a unique keyword as much as possible. So let's say for this example, I want to optimize this post for the keyword SEMrush keyword research. And what you need to do is just enter that keyword over here in the focus key phrase bar. Now you can see how the score is for the readability and also for SEO. I will briefly go through the different options to explain how everything works. Over at the preview option, you can see how the post is currently being displayed in Google on mobile and you can also select it for the desktop view. Below you see the option SEO title and that's the title as it is currently being displayed in the preview above. You can adjust the SEO title very easily and I will show you how that works in a minute. The next option is slug and you can change this as well by changing the text in this field or you can do that on the right side in the WordPress dashboard over here. So it doesn't matter which field you use to change slug and I will also adjust this in a minute, but first I want to briefly explain the next option, that's the meta description. At this point the field is empty, and therefore in the preview it's also mentioned to provide a meta description, and you can do this very easily by adding text in this field over here. If you don't use this field, then automatically the text from the first paragraph will be used by the search engines. And below the meta description options, you have the SEO analysis options. If you expand the options, then you will see complete analysis of the page or post and Yoast will, get, will also give suggestions on how to improve it for SEO. And what you need to do is try to get as many of the suggestions over here in the green. The suggestions in red have the most priority and are also marked as problems. In a minute, I will actually go over these suggestions and optimize them. But first, I want to show you another fact to rank high in the search engines and that's the readability. And you can see the readability score and suggestions by clicking on the tab readability over here. After you have done that, you will see the analysis results. And again, you will need to try to get as many of these in the green to improve the score as much as possible. As I have mentioned, nowadays Elementor and the Yoast SEO plugin have been integrated, which means you can use Yoast from within the Elementor editor. Let me quickly show you how it works by opening the Elementor editor. And after the page is loaded, you need to go over to this icon over here and then you can select the Yoast SEO option. Now you can see the scores and the suggestions for the readability analysis as well for the SEO analysis. And this will make things a lot easier, especially for the on-page adjustments that you need to do to improve the page for SEO. Before the integration was available, you had to constantly switch over from the editor to the WordPress dashboard to know if a score was improved after you have made some adjustments based on the suggestions. I usually start with the SEO adjustments in the dashboard because over there you can actually adjust the site title, slug in the meta description. And for all the on-page and readability suggestions, I will use the Yoast plugin in the Elementor editor. So now let me show you by going back to the WordPress dashboard and just work my way through. 
The first suggestion that you see is to add a relevant outbound link to this post and an outbound link is any link to another website. I only do this when it's relevant and if that's not the case then you can skip this. The goal is to try to get as much suggestions as possible in the green but it's not always necessary to have all the suggestions in the green because sometimes it's just not relevant or not possible. The next suggestion is key phrase in introduction and as you can see it is recommended to add the key phrase in the first paragraph of the post. So the key phrase for this example is SEMrush keyword research and I have to add this to the first paragraph. Therefore I now go to the Elementor editor and for example I can add a sentence like this. Learn how to do SEMrush keyword research to find the best keywords to optimize your website for in this tutorial for beginners. If I now go back to the Yoast SEO options then you can see that the suggestion has turned from red to green and is now mentioned in the good results. So that means this is okay now and now I can go over to the next suggestion which is the key phrase density. As you can see at this point the key phrase was only found one time in the text and based on the length of the text it's recommended to increase this to four times. This is also very easy to do, you just have to add the given keyword three times in the text. So let's do that right now and for example I can change the text below the title create SEMrush account from to use SEMrush you first have to create an account to something like to do SEMrush keyword research you first have to create an account. The next thing I will do is change the header title from analyze keywords with SEMrush to something like SEMrush keyword research analysis. So now I have to add the key phrase one more time and therefore I scroll all the way down and I add the sentence SEMrush keyword research and competitors analysis is very easy to do to the last paragraph. Because the key phrase has been added you will now see that this suggestion also went from red to green and is now also added to the list with the good results. Now I go over to the next suggestion which is the meta description length. And to adjust this I copy the text that I have added to the first paragraph, learn how to do SEMrush keyword research to find the best keywords to optimize your website for in this tutorial for beginners and I need to paste this in the meta description field in the WordPress dashboard. Once that's done you will see that this suggestion now is also added to the list with the good results. The next thing to improve is the key phrase in subheading and it's recommended to use more key phrases or synonyms in your h2 and h3 subheadings. So it's recommended to add a heading which contains the key phrase. So let's do this right away by going back to the Elementor editor. Now I scroll all the way down to the last paragraph and I will add an h2 title with the text Get started with SEMrush keyword research today. Now this suggestion is also added to the list with the good results as you can see. So now I go over to the next recommendation and that is the SEO title width. And the SEO title is wider than the viewable limit, try to make it shorter. And to adjust this I go back to the WordPress dashboard and I will change the title in the SEO title field to SEMrush keyword research and competitors analysis tutorial for beginners. This title is okay and also contains the key phrase and therefore I will also change this in the post title in the WordPress dashboard so it's the same as the SEO title. So all the high priority recommendations are solved now and there are three recommendations left for improvement. The next recommendation is the image key phrase and as you can see I need to add the key phrase to the alt text of relevant images in this post. That's very easy to do from within the Elementor editor and you just have to click on a relevant image to go to the alt text options. Over here you just have to add a phrase which contains the keyword in the alt text. And for example I set it to how to do SEMrush keyword research. Because I have used a lot of images for this post I have to add the keyword to a couple of other relevant images too until the recommendation is also in the green. So now I want to add the key phrase to the alt text of four other images and of course I won't use the exact same key phrase but just uh, make it slightly different. For example for the next image I will use the key phrase SEMrush keyword research overview like this and then I select another image and I change the alt text to 
SEMrush keyword research find relevant keywords. And now that's done, I go to another image and I'll change this alt tag to SEMrush keyword research analysis. And I select the last image and I change the alt text to SEMrush keyword research competitors. So now I have the key phrase added to all the images with a slightly different variant. And now you can see this suggestion is also added to the list with the good results. So that's great. Now the last improvement is to add the key phrase in the slug and therefore you need to go back to the WordPress dashboard again. And as I mentioned earlier in this tutorial, you can change the slug in the field at the right of the WordPress dashboard, or you can use this field over here at the Yoast options. So it doesn't matter which field you use. And now I change the slug to SEMrush keyword research and competitors analysis tutorial for beginners which is the same as the post title and also as the SEO title. As you can see now, this improvement is also solved and added to the list with the good results. Optionally, you can also add an outbound link to get all the suggestions in the green, but for now, I'll just leave it as it is. So now this post is completely optimized for the keyword, SEMrush keyword research. And the next thing to do is improve the readability for this post and to see all the recommendations, you can click on the readability tab in the Elementor editor. And the first thing to solve is to add subtitles because there are two sections of text with more than 300 words and are not separated by any subheadings. So let's see to which part of the text we need to add a heading to. And I see a lot of text over here. So for example, I can add the title SEMrush keyword research and information over here. And I can also add a title over here with text competitors organic research report. So now the titles have been added. And you can see that the problem is now solved. So now there are two recommendations left. And the first one is the sentence length. And this is self-explanatory. And to improve this, you have to try to shorten the sentences so that the text will become easier to read. And you can do this by deleting unnecessary text in a sentence, or you can split long sentences into two separate sentences. Now let me give you a few examples on how you can improve the score. Therefore, I go to the first paragraph, I delete the last part that advertised through Google Ad and this will make the sentence shorter. The next sentence is also quite long and I can split this into two sentences so the text is displayed like this. You can view a lot of information about keywords and you can analyze other websites. For example, you can see which pages generate the most traffic and through which keywords. If we now go back to the Yoast options, you can see that the score for the sentence length so this way you can improve the score until it's 25% or less. The final recommended improvement is to increase the amount of transition words. And this must be at least 30% to get a green bullet. And the bullet will be orange if it is in the range of 20 to 30%. You can click on the link, use more of them to view a helpful explanation about transition words. And there are also a few examples given so that you can easily understand how to use them. So that is how it works. And as I mentioned earlier, sometimes it's just not possible to get every single suggestion in the green, but of course you can try to optimize everything as much as possible. And this will help to rank your pages and post higher in the search engines. So I hope everything is clear. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I want to thank you for watching this video until the end. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and also like the video if you found it helpful in any way. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.